Hey guys, hope you're doing well. My name is Rosalind Kehamba. Welcome back to this channel. And if you're new here, we talk about relationship, faith, and family. So feel so free to click that subscribe button, followed by the notification bell, and join this family. For them that are returning, you know very well how much I appreciate you. Thank you for always viewing my viewing these videos, for commenting, for sharing, for liking, and all that motivation that you keep giving me it goes a long way i appreciate you so much for today my shout out goes to one cecilia ayako says my good friend who is now in the u.s i hope you're do keeping safe doing well i like to send hugs your way mama receive hugs and ensure you also tell your friends to subscribe to this channel especially right now that the world is kind of grounded welcome to today's video and i think just sitting on this seat will be synonymous to answering questions and for, for today there's a question that i'd like us i'd like to answer and i know it will help many other people that are in the same dilemma these viewers asked and says i keep meeting the wrong people yet i meet them in church yes this is the question i keep meeting the wrong people yet i meet them in church how wrong are they Point number one, let's differentiate what a church and the, and the believers. Right now in this lockdown, we've learned very well that a church, is no, a church is not the building. A church is the believers themselves. And right now, when you talk about meeting people in church who are, not, who are the wrong people for relationships, then it means a church is simply a spiritual center where there's people who are sick it's like a spiritual hospital it's like a spirit yeah it's like a spiritual hospital where people go there for nourishment people go there for healing the wounded the broken the 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 defeated different kind of people meet in that church and one thing that most people tend to confuse is that you meet somebody that is say the difference between saved and god fearing because salvation is simply a confession and a belief of the heart. You know, when you confess, when you believe with your heart and confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord and that He died on the sins for our, He died on the cross for our sins, you'll be saved. That is simply salvation. And anyone who's confessed that, who's believed that way, is right in saying that they are born, they are saved. But a God-fearing person is very different because when you stop at that at that confession you no longer when you stop at that confession and continue living your life like god is not at the throne of your life then you miss out on the godliness part of it so number one if you're going to look for a spouse you better look for somebody that is god fearing as opposed to saved you know salvation is simply inadequate for for you to cling on someone and say that they've been going to they go to church they are church goers there are people who just go to the church for the sake of meeting people there are people who go to church for the sake of just the fellowship you know people have different motives when they go to church and so you cannot just pick somebody get into a relationship with them by the fact that they are in church and expect that relationship to work so they have to be one god fearing is their life influenced by christ are they living what they confess number two when you're talking of differentiating between just say just church goer and a god fearing person then there are things that can help us identify if this person is truly god fearing one is by their fruit the word of god tells us that you will know them by their fruit what kind of fruit would they produce i mean every tree produces of its kind okay there's no time you'll find a lemon tree a lemon tree <laughs> producing mangoes and this is one thing if you identify that this person their fruits are not godly then it's just obvious it's just it should be a completion that they are not godly number two is who are you you know we we always say that like like you are you attract your kind like deep calls unto deep if you're that shallow you'll just attract shallow members of your clique and if you're not godly you're still going to attract people that are not godly and most people for example go to church for the main reason of looking for a spouse 
and trust you me if you're in church because of a spouse because you're looking for a spouse you'll also just find somebody who is looking for a spouse and unless you yourself feel godly because be that person that you want to be and it will be very easy to identify someone that is not of your kind and most of the times like for example for bankers they're told if you want to recognize fake money you don't go studying how fake money looks like you study how good money original money real money looks like once you know the original money you're able to recognize fake money whenever you see it you touch it or you feel it because it's very easy let's talk of kenyans you know like kenyans we know when someone talks we know how maybe luos speak we know how luyas maybe speak we can differentiate a kikuyu from a luo we can differentiate a kisi from a luya just by our dialect or even by our accent but when a nigerian or any other nationality comes in for them they just see us as kenyan they not be able to recognize this is this tribe this is this dialect you know for them they'll just see us as kenyans as a whole why because they are not one of our own so that is what i like to bring to your attention that once you know yourself what kind are you if you know yourself if you're god fearing if you're walking in the ways of the lord you will definitely recognize when someone is your kind or when they are not your kind i think that is that point is noted before before i finish on this point of recognizing someone of your kind the other way is through the help of the holy spirit i mean sometimes human beings can really can really disguise themselves if the if the devil himself masquerades as the angel of light i believe there are many people who can really pretend to be who they are not and you it might really be they can be just like sheep in uh, wolves in sheep clothing so if you have the spirit of god he's able to warn you he's able to give you promptings this is not the way this is not our own this is not for us like there are many times do when i was dating there are many times the spirit of god would just tell me don't even go for that date and maybe that guy gets mad and he just you know like writes off the relationship and I'm, they are feeling like why 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 did he have to do that but few months down the line you hear that he's married and you're like okay so it was just, well, i was just a play girl you know and there are many things sometimes you might not even understand but when you have the spirit of god he will lead you into all truth there's no way the spirit of god will fail to recognize someone that is masquerading or somebody that is you know like an imposter you'll be able to recognize with the help of the holy spirit so if your efforts fail you if you've tried being godly and you're still finding yourself in the wrong company then try the help of the holy spirit there are times the holy spirit will just tell me stop that relationship and to me it will be like what do you mean the way i'm eager to get married how are you telling me to leave that relationship and most of the times i will follow his his voice and it ended up being the best decisions that i ever made you know there are several other places you can meet your spouse so stop confining yourself to the four corners of the church thinking that it's only at church i've seen other people even quitting church and joining other churches just because there were no potentials in that church and i'm like okay are you going to that church so that you meet potentials it will be very I, I think it's a very good thing when you meet your spouse in church because at least you fellowship together yeah people have met in mysterious ways so don't just confine yourself to church and church alone and those church hopers looking for spouses you're mistaken because that's the, not the only place unless you just come to church to look for a spouse you know you always hear that good wives are found in church good husbands are found in church unless you're in church with that motive which i said earlier that whatever your motive you will find your kind so don't limit yourself to to church there are other avenues nowadays we have social media actually it's one year <laughs> one year ago i joined tinder like yes me i joined tinder and i was like i'm looking for all the avenues i can meet a husband but i didn't i didn't stay there for sure it's it was it was a good place to meet people 
but not that worthwhile i wouldn't advocate yeah there are people that have gone there and met spouses good spouses godly spouses but majority a large bulk of people in that in that social network are not the kind of people you you really maybe be interested in meeting so i quit tinder like one week later i joined on a friday and by thursday i was like no i'm out the kind of <laughs> messages i was getting no it was not the kind of thing that i would just be pleased to undertake so open up there are places there are, there are people who have met through facebook there are others who've even met on instagram so don't just limit yourself to chat chat is just an avenue if you follow the path the the the, the steps of being the right person i'm sure you can meet this right person anywhere you go so yes think outside the box it can happen anywhere where you least expect my last point for today don't like meet people and expect relationship like you know you meet everyone you meet you must relate i was suffering from that kind of disease you know I, every every man i met i'd be like no we're not in for friendship i just want i when are we getting married when are, are we dating what are we you know those are kind of those are the kind of questions i'll ask men i will not even give room for friendship but i got to learn very late that what just welcome friendship you know just welcome people to be your friends the opposite sex to be your friends there's something you get to learn or you get to profit when you just keep platonic friendship so not everyone that comes your way was supposed to date you or was supposed to be in a romantic relationship with you some of us i say some people miss out on on even the blessings that god will have released by virtue of knowing that other person but because our our minds were so shut down my mind was so shut down i just wanted a man for the romantic relationship there's nothing like friendship for me i was like i've i've had enough men who are my friends right now i'm looking for a husband i have not even give room to any man that will just be there for friendship which was very wrong and i'm very sorry man man if you're watching and you're part of those men that i just brushed away come back i'm ready for friendship <laughs> so there are some people you meet not be, because they are destined to be your spouse or your partner they're just like an uh, a link and in one way they might be having a cousin a sister a workmate that god intended that you meet so he's just using god is might just be using that friend of yours that lady that man as a link to your destiny but you cut off that destiny when you waste relationships so just welcome friendship it's from friendship where you find real relationships it's from friendship you'll know how a friend behaves you'll know how a friend you know responds to to things and that is a very good virtue that's a very good it's a bonus for marriage you don't want to get in and you strangers and you're wondering what is this that i mean to welcome friendship and you'll be at liberty to choose from your friends who should be your spouse and i hope these things have helped you especially the person that sent this question thank you so much for sending this question and giving me a topic for my video today and so if you want a shout out i said you must be the first one to comment on this video so that you get a shout out in my next video and ensure you click the subscribe button don't forget to subscribe to this channel you're really promoting me and supporting me so thank you so much God bless you. See you in my next video.